gentlemen, and welcome in to Sweets Live, the pregame show. I'm your host, Cooper Husky, and it is a beautiful day for a ball game, as the song says. Bright blue skies overhead. Again, not a cloud in sight. Sun beaming. Just a wonderful, wonderful day for a baseball game. Tonight it'll be the Walla Walla Swedes taking on the Port Angeles Lefties. Let's take a look at last night in the series opener. Sweets got on the board first, bringing home one run in the bottom of the first frame. Davis Mozzie hit an RBI single that brought home David Miza. He would make his way to second and then try to come home on a double, but was tagged out at the plate. It would turn out that tag out would just snuff out any momentum the Sweets had, as that was the only run they would score in the last time they would see third base. Defensively, in and on the mound, the Sweets played well, except for one disastrous fourth inning. Seven runs come in to score for the lefties, six of them unearned. It was it was a tough scene, and it led to Port Angeles winning 7-1. to one. Looking ahead to tonight, it is game two of a three-game set, an interdivision game. Port Angeles out of the north, Walla Walla in the south. Sweets looking to take game two and even up the series one game apiece so as to avoid losing four straight series in a row to start the season. We'll take a break, up ahead, couple interviews, and then we will preview tonight's pitching matchup on the mound. Don't go anywhere, you're watching Sweets Live, the pregame show on the Sweets Digital Network. Hey, your homework done? Yep. Mm. Hey, is your homework done? This kinda is homework. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm so proud of you. Can I play some more? Is all your work done? Washington's Lottery is a proud partner in the goal to promote college and career training. Each time you play, you're helping students statewide. Welcome back in to Sweet Slide, the pregame show. I'm here with manager Jared Molna and coach. Seven runs allowed last night, six of them unearned. What, what are your thoughts coming out of a big inning like that as a manager? Like, yeah, it's a lot of runs, but they shouldn't have been there. You know, they were unearned. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, that's uh, a part of the game that nobody ever wants to touch, think about, uh, feel. That's for sure, but... Um, uh, inevitably what it comes down to is making plays and making pitches and unfortunately we kind of set the table there early on with a couple walks and uh, ran to the end of a uh, uh, Wessel's rope there with his pitch count and came in and ended up walking another couple guys there once we went to the pen and then they end up finding a couple knocks so you know it's just uh, yeah like I said just kind of an unfortunate part of the game and uh, more times than not what happens when you're not making plays and making pitches. So, um, yeah, just a learning lesson for these guys um, as to how imperative it is to make plays when you get the opportunity to, to, to limit to limit innings and limit the other team's ability to manufacture runs like that because uh, we definitely set the table and then even after the initial, the initial two walks, uh, kind of let that snowball on us there um, in that inning and just kind of got away from us. A couple of new guys in the lineup last night, starter Jace Wessels and shortstop J.J. Moran, who led off. What are your thoughts on the new guys' performances last night? Yeah, I thought Wessels did a really good job out the gate. Um, you know, he gave us three really, really strong innings, uh, came out there in the fourth and just looked a little bit tired. But, you know, he did a really j good job at uh, competing f through the first third of the ball game there and putting us in a position to win up to that point. Um, J.J., I thought he played a phenomenal shortstop. I think he proved to ev everybody in the building, everybody in the stadium, that he's going to be more than capable of holding that down for us. Um, offensively, he's going to get himself going. So the first couple at-bats for a young buck like himself, uh, uh, after a couple weeks off in a league like this uh, is nothing to look too deep into. So excited to keep writing his name in there and uh, have him lead our, leave our, lead our infield defense from shortstop. So. Lead our infield defense and then go on to Stanford, D1 player right there. I think one of the first few D1s in our lineup so far this year. Um, yeah, we have a few between David, uh, JJ, a few that are still yet to get here in court, Ryan, a uh, few, a good number of our arms, but uh, yeah, just waiting for the 
few of those guys to get in here and start writing that full lineup and hopefully kind of hit the ground running once they do. Awesome. Final question, looking ahead to tonight, game two between the lefties and the Swedes, looking to even up the series, or probably more importantly, not drop our fourth series to start the season. Just what are you looking for from your team tonight? Same thing we always are, man. Uh, it's going to come down to attacking the strike zone, making quality pitches at the bottom of it, um, uh, putting guys away when you get the opportunity to do so, uh, making plays on the defensive side of things to limit innings, and then stringing together quality at bats. You know, I think we've done and seen it in pockets, seen it in windows. It's just going to come down to doing it for nine innings straight um, and uh, hopefully come out with a W. Awesome. Well, Coach, thank you for joining us on the pregame show today. We'll take a break. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Sweets Live, the pregame game show. Walla Walla Valley Honda is now underwriter Honda of Walla Walla. The same great automotive family is here for all your needs. Service, parts, new Hondas, and top quality used vehicles, all backed by expert staff with the highest standards in the industry. After all, you're family at underwriter Honda of Walla Walla and deserve the best. Visit us at underwriterhondaofwallawalla.com to schedule service or a test drive today. Underwriter Honda of Walla Walla. Walk in as a guest, drive off as family. Welcome back into Sweets Live, the pregame show. I'm here with Mason Millar. And Mason, this is your second year with the Sweets. What brought you back here to Walla Walla? Um, just the community. Kind of being in Walla Walla for the past two years. Uh, I play over at the community college, so it's kind of just staying at home for me, in a sense. Uh, kind of being away, going back to Boise for a little bit, and just always find my way back here to Walla Walla. So, All right. You play at the community college, as you said. For manager Jared Molna, is there a difference between his coaching styles at the community college and here at the suites, or is it pretty much the same? Um, well, the intent always stays the same. Definitely in summer ball, you got to be a little bit looser, not a lot of new faces, a lot of guys he hasn't like, coached before. Um, but still the same intent every day to go out here and win, try to get better, and find a way to – scratch a win across that board all right taking a look at the uh other side of summer league baseball you know guys coming in from all over the country to play here your family has opened up your home to two other players davis and dyke tell me about what it's like being a host for a couple of your teammates um it's great it's a great experience especially uh dyke i grew up knowing davis a little bit but dyke coming in from japan uh it's definitely one of those things that it's kind of a little bit of a barrier gap between some of the things we talk about but it's, it's amazing. Trying to learn the language, trying to learn what they do on a day-to-day -day basis is definitely something that I've, I've loved over this past couple weeks, and I continue to hope to continue to love it as much as I am. Awesome. Well, Mason, thank you so much for joining us here on the free game show today. We'll take one more break and then look at the pitching matchup. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Sweets Live, the free game show. Anything else? Yeah, can I get some napkins? Sure. That'll be one dollar. For a napkin? Ridiculous, right? You know what else doesn't make sense? Some people are still paying for their checking accounts. Some places it's 12 bucks a month. At P1FCU, we believe some things should just be free. Open your Ascend checking with tons of great benefits at p1fcu.org slash free. Welcome back into Sweets Live, the pregame show. Let's take a look at the matchup on the mound. First for our sweet, starting on the mound for Walla Walla will be Josh Arabal, a righty out of Pearl City, Hawaii, making his third appearance this season. First two were on the road in that season opening road trip. First one was out of the pen against the Bend Elks, tossed two innings, struck out three, did not allow a hit. Second was a start against the Portland Pickles, gone to a little bit of a a little bit of a jam there, looking for a better start here against the Port Angeles lefties. On the mound for the lefties will be Jackson Price, a righty out of Hillsboro, Oregon. He's pitched in two games so far for the lefties, has not allowed a run, no decisions yet, so a 0-0 record and a 0.00 ERA out of Pacific University. Well, that'll about do it for us here on the pregame show. I want to thank my guests for joining me, and we will see you in a bit for a 635 first pitch in Game 2 between the Sweets and the Lefties. I've been Cooper Husky, and you've been watching Sweets Live, the pregame show.